Hi. Um, so um, I'm going to talk about how I integrated Tiny MCE in my application. And actually, I'm working on a CMS, which uh, in the future will run my website, Meeting C++, and maybe you know me at, at uh, Meeting CPP under Twitter. But actually, what I'm talking, talking about is um, for the cute part was basically the UI. I need an editor and text editor for uh, HTML parts. And Qt offers basically text controls and editing, displaying simple text, and also you know can handle some HTML and uh, rich text. But it's very basic support. Uh, KDE 5, uh, KDE Frameworks 5 has a support like K Text Editor. Uh, it's probably the best solution if you want to stay in C++ land. And WX Widgets has also some library solution I remember from the past. And uh, what what I basically need and want is an HTML Visivic editor to edit parts of websites. Um, it should also um, be able to, you know, edit links, images, etc. And Tiny MCE offers that offers this, and that's also what I currently use. So I thought maybe it's possible to integrate it. And that is the end result. And if we zoom in, that is the actual text editor in my program running inside Qt. But uh, you know how to get there. Uh, Tiny MCE, it's uh, JavaScript. And it's kind of browser technology. It's not really meant to be running inside. An, Basically, a binary application like Qt is. Uh, Qt offers a web view, which or offered a web view. As we learned this morning, it's deprecated, but I learned that it's basically what I'm going to show you is also very easily uh, doable with a web engine. Um, it's WebKit based. It you know, offers a bridge to, to JavaScript from C and renders HTML and has a C API. Um, Tiny MC comes with this, a few limitations for this approach that. Um, for example, if, we, if I open a dialog inside the, 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 the um, web view window, the JavaScript, edit, uh, the, the JavaScript dialog stays in that uh, window. And um, so this is, this is a little bit of a hack. Uh, one example is that uh, the, the official method to, to tell the editor which images to use is a JavaScript file which is on the file system. And I don't want to like rewrite that all the time. And also, yeah, um, it doesn't really accept anything which goes over the network, so it's basically uh, locked into the file system world, kind of. So um, I have to replace the JavaScript dialog somehow to, to spawn a cute dialog. And, and of course, I have to integrate images and links uh, like that and to replace then um, the official things with my own stuff. Um, the QWeb grid bridge and the QWeb engine now um, offers that, that I can register Q objects into JavaScript, that I can call methods on them with Q invocable. I can emit JavaScript signals and execute them then in the C++ world. And basically, what I need is a round trip. I need JavaScript to trigger C++, and then C++ executes JavaScript. So um, I have a simple class called HTML text editor. It's derived from QWeb view. And is basically the C++ interface for the, C for the text editor. So everything that has to do with, with the whole hack is like contained in that class, so that it's reusable. And that is the class itself. Um, it has the two different methods, how to you know, access JavaScript, a Q invocable method, and a signal. Uh, one, one's for inserting link, and the other one is for uh, selecting an image. And then I have like one central method to execute JavaScript. Um, have yeah, a constructor which um, doesn't take any parameters because uh, this is basically also used in the in the uh, rough editor from Qt Creator, um, so that the actual um, initialization could be done in the init editor method. Uh, this slot. Um, this has also to do that um, when every every signal I get from Qt doesn't help me at all. Um, there's like the, um, the, the web view telling me I loaded the HTML, but the JavaScript is still executing. So I have no idea when the, um, the actual editor is ready to get loaded with text or something. So I need to trigger that via a timer. Um, the implementation yeah, in C++, I expose the class to JavaScript uh, via Qt. Uh, I have to you know, write my own image handlers and my own um, link handlers for that and, and trigger that from. Uh, JavaScript, um, Tiny MCE. I have to. I had to write plugins to basically trigger into C++, and the editor uh, HTML is another thing in that which I haven't mentioned. Um, I yet I wasn't able to actually inject the HTML needed to run this uh, editor into uh, 
the um, that view itself, I need to actually load a file which is on the file system which actually then correctly executes the JavaScript. And one, one big problem currently is that the uh, location of that file is the base path. Um, there's, there's a JavaScript method to change that, but that doesn't work. So, um, yeah, in the, in the constructor, I simply have to deactivate the delegation for links. Otherwise, uh, if you insert a link and click on that link, that would open in the web here. That would be stupid. Um, the set base path, um, the, set, the setter, which basically sets up the whole settings and um, starts actually the, the editor uh, loading and, and everything else. So this is basically a two-phase uh, initialization. Um, this is the method where I do the selecting of an image. Um, I first have an image dialog, which I then um, simply execute in, in Qt code and just show the images there. Um, and that is the, the editor after the image has been selected and the image is then displayed in JavaScript. And after I have selected the image, I have to um, execute the JavaScript code for inserting it in the exact function. Um, yeah, this method simply locks and executes the JavaScript for me so that I do that in a central point that I can you know, make changes. Um, yeah, JavaScript, that was like the first time I really had to do anything with JavaScript was a little bit of a hack. And um, yeah, it's not really my language, so I have uh, this uh, host object registered via Qt, and this is how I then trigger uh, a signal or call a method. Uh, then the syntax doesn't change in JavaScript, it's just basically the same thing. And uh, that's how I then basically do add a new button to the um, editor to, to be clicked on and um, the add command uh, adds a function which just triggers into C++ to the uh, tinyMC instance. Yeah, current limitations, uh, there's basically for every instance I need to spawn this newly. It's a lot of uh, resources which uh, probably get wasted for this. Um, the base pass I mentioned, that's the limitation I'm trying to see and probably I think that for my CMS I need like uh, one editor per directory and I uh, need to copy around that file, um, but that's not going to be visible to the user. Um, yeah, and the tiny MCE base error set, uh, set pass does not work as far as I've seen it. Maybe it works with the web engine because it's JavaScript is a bit better there. Um, yeah, and JavaScript and WebKit is difficult to debug as far as found. Uh, yeah, and also what I need is a text editor for uh, CSS and JavaScript. Maybe uh, CM, tiny MCE is not really meant for that. Uh, there are other uh, web editors. I'm also taking a look at KDE Frameworks 5 for that. And yeah, um, things like Atom would be nice, but that's basically based on Node.js and not an alternative to that. And yeah, the, the end result is a more or less working HTML editor. Uh, still needs some fine tuning, and um, yeah, some parts will always stay hack. And at least in the, in the old web view, uh, tiny MCE for X didn't want to run. Maybe that has changed with the web engine too. So, thanks to Kirtavella and...